Knock Off vs Original Episode 4. Hello everybody, it's me, Unfriendly Porcupine, and on this episode of Knock Off vs Original, we have the heavy tactical cargo truck. Surprisingly, both Knock Off and Original have the exact same name, so Knock Off even decided to copy the exact name. Heavy tactical cargo truck. With this set, this time Knock Off really tried to rip it off part for part. If you see my review, <laughs> that doesn't mean they came close, but they really tried. If you just try to exactly copy exactly what someone does, without changing anything or adding something new to it, you're always going to be more inferior than the other product. What is your only thing that gives you an advantage? Oh, maybe the original one discontinued and only the knockoff one is left. I really like the other one when they actually made it their own SWAT car. Imagine they made a SWAT heavy tactical cargo truck. Or made it jungly. Just imagine they were completely black one. That would have actually added a lot more value rather than just ripping it off exactly part for part. Did you get any of that? Nope. There's one thing I really like knockoffs did when they ripped it off. They at least included the care package that you actually get. So, <laughs> very glad knockoffs at least followed the source material and Topo was good. Also, they gave you both three figures and you can even see on the box art they really deceptively try to make it position exactly the same way that it was in the original. This is the part I don't really like about knockoff too much because you are selling to the consumer, confusing him to think that it's the real product. I don't really like that. But yeah, kids, it's a knockoff. But I personally like it when they do their own thing. It makes you just feel less shitty if that makes sense. Especially from Mega's perspective. If Mega even has perspective, they killed the Call of Duty lines of focus. Ouch. Anyways, uh, we're going off topic here. <laughs> Both the knockoff and the original include the three same figures, except unlike the original, the knockoff ones are shittier. They also have all of the annoying boot tricks. Ay ay ay, thank you. And then rocket launcher? Nah, you don't get that cool rocket launcher that can shoot like that. Nah, nah. I already reviewed the set and specifically gets all the things you get. Oh, and what about the advertised container on the original? How did knockoffs copy that? Well, they... They didn't understand that the set didn't come with the container. So it's like, look, source material says there's container that's gray and transparent. I know, we put it in a gray container. <laughs> I I fucking love knockoffs for that. Man, that was awesome. It's a dream come true. And I love how knockoffs actually gave you that container as a separate piece. That's when knockoffs not understanding actually benefited us. I very much love that. So good job part of that knockoffs, that's actually something knockoffs did better. They gave you what Mega decided to advertise that you guys could do if you bought a separate set. So that's what I really like about knockoffs. But everything else, whoa, this is we're gonna rip their ass apart. The windows, the windows, they're fucking stickers. Bruh. It's a fake. But yet, the number 51 on the door is a print. Why the fucking inconsistency with the knockoffs? If you're gonna copy the source material, you could have knocked off the same mold. You're like, nah, we're gonna make stickers into that. Yeah, to me, it's just swear. And don't get me started about the container stickers. Ugh, what a mess. <laughs> also, how about the no desert speckle? What? What happened to the whole desert speckle that was advertised? Knockoffs were able to do desert speckle if you've seen the desert dome and if you've seen the desert Humvee. Of course, granted it was three short company using Xbox figures, but still, they were able to pull it off. Which makes me think, damn, they could have gave us awesome desert speckle on the side of not. Also, I really don't like that beta gray color for, you know, the bottom parts. Personally, it just makes it feel like such a knockoffish color. And then, and then the real mega is like, how about we start using that very grayish color in more parts of it? Personally, it just makes it feel unfeasible. And of course, just like usual, the wheels are a facade. At least what I like about knockoffs is they didn't lie about that, you can actually see it right there. So I very much respect knockoffs in that aspect of not lying about it. However, it also would have been cool if they actually knocked off the Pacific mold. You see how the tire treads on the original one are actually a different mold? And on top of that, they have that whole BTR wheel shield. If you, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I kinda like to use that piece as a wheel shield, but yeah, that's what the BTR has. They could have knocked off that mold, but they're like, nah. Also, another thing! 
they had the bumper that the other original Kambi could have used. So they had them all and they didn't use it in the previous one. It's also nice to be able to get the desert color Humvee doors that you would need if you want to build the awesome Humvee. So, in that aspect, it's one way to get it, especially when you can't get the original. <sighs> also, another thing I find very funny about the knockoff, you can see the guns the figures have, right? Bro, Chico, that's not even the same mold, but they really, really try to make it look like the same. They're trying to, what I hate about this is, they're trying to make it look like, hey, our guns can come apart. Bullshit, no, bro. That, that shit can't happen. No, cause you don't do that shit. You haven't came up with that awesome creative thing. They had the mold with the glasses, but they decided not to use it for this figure. Not sure why. They also used the large machine gun mold with the sniper thing to make it really look like the AK with the scope. Chico, no. Don't lie to us, Chico. Don't lie. You a piece of shit. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, you fucking cockroach. The last big difference, the quality, brick quality of this set just constantly fell apart. If you, if you want to see how bad it was, just watch my review, it was shit. <laughs> now I don't know how the original one was, but I'm assuming Mega's quality was really good, so Mega probably would have whooped that ass off of the original one. But since Mega decided to discontinue it, that only leaves knockoffs in the game. Show me the money, baby! Woohoo! And I didn't and when I ever wasn't able to get the set. Well, anyways, my comrades, I hope you have enjoyed episode 4 of Knockoff vs. Original. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, my comrades, and take care.